Hello, uh, here's just another quick uh, tutorial about how to use WindForce. Uh, this one, and uh, by default it's just a plane. And I will show it using these fragments. I pre-fragmented this ground. So all fragments inside dynamic list here. And the very uh, easy way to use this force is you just need to add it inside the simulation list here and basically that's all you can start simulation uh, as you can see the range is unlimited of this wind and uh, to define its range, you can use this range indicators. Uh, for now, this turbulence, frequency, and scale property they are not used by Refire. Only strength and this planar or spherical and this range indicator. So let's set here spherical, and uh, now, as you expect, it will blow all the fragments from its center. Let's decrease strength make it twice lower and uh, let's position it here let's say and start preview again also you can animate the strength or other property so you can change them during simulation Right now, as you can see, the range is not unlimited since I have range indicators checkbox on. If I will uncheck it, all the fragments will be blown away. So I can cancel it. Uh, so I suggest you to use range indicators. Maybe the range itself will be high, but it's better to use some range. Also, you can uh, use uh, negative strength. In this case, uh, wind will uh, drag all the objects in, uh, uh, to its center. So you can say animate it, anima uh, make create some animation for the wind. Uh, start preview. And as you can see, in some cases it might create pretty interesting results. Okay, uh, that uh, was the simplest way to use wind. Also, there's uh, some uh, couple of advanced way to use it. And as you saw, right now my fragments inside dynamic list, and they start simulate right after I start preview or bake. But now I want to show you how to use wind to activate them. So I can hit here the activate static dynamic objects. So right now, if I will start simulation, uh, they as a subject will do not will not uh, fall down, but instead of this, uh, I will use this wind. 
as uh, activation uh, force I have to click here activate by force here and I will create uh, I will decrease range let's create some an another animation something like this also let's select all the pieces here and move them, move them up so you will see how it works so uh, let's uh, Let's. Uh, I will remove wind right now, so you'll see that right now. If I will start simulation, even though the subjects are dynamic, they do not fall down. But if I will use this wind force as activation force and start preview again. Oh, okay, so right now strength is zero, so it doesn't affect anyhow. So we can set here, let's say, 0 0.8 range zone and continue simulation. Now you can see that it activates it. So you can play with this range and strength. We make it higher. And let's try again. So as you can see, the fragments which were activated, they started simulation, but other fragments which were not activated, they still uh, freeze in the air. Also, uh, they are uh, simulated like a static object. So as you can see, the fragment which is already activated like this one, or this, it falls down to uh, this do not, uh, fragment which is not activated and stay on it. So in this way you can create some such animations Also, let's try to create pretty the same animation but with, but with negative strength. Okay, the strength was pretty high. can use actually very low strength just to activate it it won't even uh, push its, uh, the fragments too far or drag them with uh, wind itself it, ju it will just simply activate them and then leave
Also pretty nice result. Let's pause it. And another way to use uh, force is to use the use it with uh, not dynamic object but with sleeping objects. So I will send this uh, dynamic fragments to sleeping list. So now they are in sleeping list, and by default, uh, I don't need this deactivate static and dynamic object anymore. If I will start simulation right now, you will see that this force activated uh, uh, first sleeping object and after that all sleeping objects starting fell down because uh, it worked like a chain reaction so one activated fragment uh, activated some uh, all other fragments as well so uh, this is where you can start use dead sleeping feature this one and uh, you, you don't even you can use it with revive uh, dead by velocity while the uh, zero in this case it will simply push all the fragments uh, but they will not start fall down so let's set here some positive strength and uh, let's actually create some other animation I'll decrease range. Okay, something like this. So if I will start simulation now, you can see that it's as uh, this wind starting, start uh, push all the fragments upper. Okay, it looks like strength is not enough. Let's increase it. Okay, so it simply push, uh, pushes these fragments and then leave them at uh, the new position. And also you can try to do the opposite, let's uh, use some negative force and decrease range. Okay, now strength was too high again. Let's decrease it like this one. Try again simulation. Also, pretty in interesting result.
and of course <coughs> you can use some value here so all the fragments will not be just pushed but if the strength is, not, is big enough they will be activated and they will start their simulation so we'll start fall down and uh, hit each other so let's set here some let's say waller 10 that will select wind and apply some positive strength like uh, 0 0.6 actually maybe higher and uh, let's break simulation now Again, looks like for, uh, 10 was not enough. Let's set here. It's actually too big. Uh, let's set here too. So it will be easier to activate fragments. Continue. Okay, so now I can see they started activated and fell down. Okay, let's cancel it. Set the to three maybe even four <coughs> and start new simulation So as you can see some fragments were activated and they start to fall down and other fragments were just pushed a little bit and they are still stays in the air and fragments which were activated are starting to fall down to this not activated fragments but this time they start pushing them and deforming them and sometimes some activated fragments fall down to the to not activated fragments and activate it as well. So let's stop simulation. Also pretty interesting result. So here you can see, let's say this one was activated. Oh, let's say let's take this one. As you can see, it was activated, and then it fall down to not activate fragments here, and pushed it and activated it. So let's, this one it was it was not activated by force but another fragment activated it very good way to create such kind of animations so this is how you can use a uh, wind force and uh, in other tutorials I will show you how to use other forces so thank you for watching and Hope it will help you.